So we're here with Pete Rowe, uh, the CEO of Deep Branch Biotechnology. We're here at Seeds and Chips 2019, opening day. Pete, tell us a little bit about Deep Branch Biotechnology. Yeah, so basically what we do is we convert carbon dioxide into protein. So we can take what's conventionally viewed as uh, a waste product, something that gets taxed, and something that's bad for the environment. And we can really reimagine that as something that we can use as a feedstock, as a resource, uh, in order to make sustainable protein. So where our protein comes in is it's effectively an alternative to soy or fish meal, which are usually the protein sources in animal feed. So you're making uh, protein out of CO2, yeah. and you're not taxing in any way the earth. Like that's a little bit different from what we're usually seeing in terms of alternative proteins. Yeah, precisely. So we can relieve the stress generated with, uh, well, the stress you see from producing a lot of CO2 on the atmosphere, but also on the other side of things, you know, if you look at the environmental impact that soy has, um, as a crop, it's, you know, it does a great job of creating protein from CO2 in the atmosphere as well. But in order to do so, we must be really intensive with regards to the use of fertilizers, pesticides, herbicides, all these kind of things. Um, and of course, 95% of the soy that we make, we feed to the animals that we eat. So where we come in is we can say, why don't we use that agricultural area, that space that you can to grow soy, to grow soy or whatever else you want to grow and put it into the human uh, consumption market and instead feed the animals with an equally high value, nutritious um, protein, but it's better for the earth. And so we have here, this is a bioreactor, a simulated bioreactor, right? Yeah. Because you don't want anything exploding. No, precisely. So this <laughs> is a bunch of people. So tell us a little bit about what happens. Yeah, essentially what we do in our process is we have a liquid-based medium. Um, so in many ways it's very similar to a conventional fermentation, like uh, brewing. So in brewing what you see is that you have yeast that can utilize um, the carbohydrates from the barley as sugar and as an energy and the carbon source. Um, what we do instead is, is we provide carbon dioxide as a carbon source, and in doing so, our microbe grows. But instead of creating ethanol like a normal fermentation, we can actually make a protein. And you came out of an academic background, you were doing research, you're doing CRISPR based research. Why did you decide to do what you're doing with gas fermentation? Yeah, so we see gas fermentation really as a powerful platform technology. At the moment, we can generate a lot of high quality protein, so about 10 kilograms of CO2 going into our process can yield about seven kilograms of protein coming out. But what if we could make more than that? So that's where the CRISPR-based genome editing comes in. That's what I spent a lot of my academic career working on. So finding new ways to insert new metabolic pathways into organisms so that beyond the protein and the biofuels that conventionally we make through these fermentation processes, processes we can make pretty much anything that we need to consume as humankind from CO2 as a feedstock. Okay, you guys are based in UK. Where can people find out more info about you guys? Yeah, so you can find out on our website www.deepbranchbio.com or follow us on Twitter at deepbranchbio. Perfect. Hey, thanks, Pete. Yeah, cheers.